What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and we are back with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys the top five Bronze Age books that you can still get for under $250. This list took me a little bit of time to come up with because there are not a lot of key issues right now that you can get for under $250 bucks, but I narrowed them down to five and I actually have a couple of honorable mentions for you. But before we get into the video, like always, if you are not a current subscriber of the channel and you've been digging my content, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And of course, if you like the content that I've been putting out there and you like these hot tens and these top fives, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button for me. But most of all, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this list. If I'm missing a couple of books or if there's books that you don't believe that should be on this list. So we're going to get right into it as always. With the first honorable mention is Astonishing Tales number 25. The first appearance of Deathlock and Luther Manning. Now, a CGC 8.0 recently sold back in July for $204, which to me, I don't think is a bad uh, price. This book is heating up as of late as all Bronze Age and all comics, to be honest with you, are just going through the roof. I still think this is an underappreciated key, especially for such a cheap price, and it is a very fine grade at an 8.0. I'd still be pouncing on this book if I can, because you never know if Deathlock is going to show up in the MCU or in a Disney Plus show. I think it's a good bet at some point. Probably going to be down the line, but now's a good time to actually pounce on this book. My second honorable mention is a really rare book that you, it's really going to be hard to find. It is a copy of Captain Britain number one. Now this is the true first appearance of Captain Britain. It's actually a UK book, so not uh, sold here in the United States. There is a first appearance of Captain Britain in the United States. I forget what book it is, but I am hunting down this copy if I could. Now a CGC 7.0 recently sold back in April for $320. But the last CGC sale for a 6.0 was November of 2014, believe it or not, for 90 bucks. I'm, I'm pretty sure that if we're hunting and you not a lot of people are kind of looking for this book right now, that you might be able to pick it up for under $250 if you can find one. Like I said, it's really hard. 7.0 was 320. I think if you get a lower grade, you could probably pounce on it for under 250 bucks. Again, this is a really hard book to find and not a lot of people are really talking about this character. So I think down the line, you will see him and probably in the MCU only for the fact that, you know, not a major character, but you know, you, ne you never know. We saw Spider-Man go into the UK for, you know, far from home. You never know what might happen. So let's start off with the top five. At number five is a copy of X-Men number 129, the first appearance of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. Believe it or not, a CGC 7.5 back in June sold for $257. So to me, if you want to go a little bit lower, which I really wouldn't advise, you could probably get one for under $250, but a 7.5, you could probably have it for around $250. Now, when I looked up these prices of this book, it was about a month ago. So I'll be honest with you, these books may have gone up in value since then, but I still think at some point they're going to drop down a little bit so you can find this book for under 250 bucks. Some people will say they wouldn't buy this book in such a low grade, even though it is a 7.5. I'm saying it's still all right in my opinion, but the higher the grade, the better as always. At number four on this list is a copy of Mr. Miracle number one. Finally, another DC book pops up on this list. This is a really cool cover. Uh, I believe it's a Jack Kirby cover as well. CGC 8.5 recently sold back in June for also $257, believe it or not. This book got hot maybe about a year ago and then since has cooled off. This is a book I'd definitely be buying because you never know with DC. If they actually put a decent movie out there, this, this character may pop and this book may pop. So to me, I think it's still a good value. Under $250 for an 8.5, it's a really high grade. One of, one of my favorite DC covers, to be honest with you. At number three is a book we've talked about a while back. It really hasn't gotten much love as of late. Nova number one. Now, a CGC 9.2 of Nova number one recently sold for $285. There's a little bit over $250, but to be honest, if you go with a little bit of a lower grade, you could probably snag one for under $250. Nova is rumored to appear in one of the Guardians of the Galaxies, I believe, or one of the Thor movies. Didn't happen. I'm still hoping to see... Nova in a future MCU movie and I believe we will get it once we get possibly Gardens of the Galaxy 3 or any type of cosmic movie going forward. So I'm still hopeful that we're going to see Nova and probably now is a good time to pounce on this book if you don't have a copy if you think he's coming. At the two spot is of course Amazing Adventures number 11. This is a book that no one is talking about right now possibly because we've had Beast in previous 
Fox movies. Of course, this is the first appearance of the furry beast. I couldn't even tell you what the first appearance of the actual beast is, but regardless, a CGC 7.0 recently sold back in April for $235. I believe this book will be heating up relatively quickly if it hasn't already. To me, this is a good buy. I can't wait to see some of the X-Men characters in the MCU. I'm not sure which ones you're going to see first when the X-Men do arrive, but I'm betting they will see Beast at some point. Now, I didn't think they did a bad uh, bad uh, deal with Beast in, in the Fox movies. I thought he was portrayed pretty cool. But other than that, I still think this book is highly undervalued for a Bronze Age key. I'd be picking it up for cheap anytime I saw it. And I have seen some claim sales lately that this book was going maybe around $100, $150. I wasn't sure of the grade. But either way, I do think this book is worth picking up. And at the top spot for my top five under $250 Bronze Age books is a copy of Miss Marvel number 18, the first full appearance of Mystique. To me, first of all, I love this cover. I think it's one of the coolest Bronze Age covers. I know a lot of people get this and Miss Marvel 16 confused. 16 is the first cameo. 18 is the first full. I'm a buyer of the first full in my opinion. A CGC 8.5 recently sold couple of months ago for $235. To me, that is a, a nice amount of change to pick up a nice high grade copy of this book. I recently picked up a, I think around a, a 9.0 copy, raw copy off of eBay for around $200. To me, I thought that was a really good buy because this book is still going up because of the whole X-Men coming to the MCU. So to me, I definitely think it's worth the top spot in my Bronze Age list. You guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. What, is there a book that you guys rather have on here for under $250? I know, like I said, when I when I came up with these prices, it's been about a month or so. They, they could have gone higher, but either way, I still think these books are really worth picking up for future speculation for them coming to the movies. Like always, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed my content. Uh, I love these top five. These love these top tens. There will be a CGC unboxing sooner rather than later. They say they're in quality control, getting ready to ship. So I can't wait to see what those books came back at. So like always, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.